In what is believed to be a first for the New Zealand retirement sector, the Kirikiri Retirement Village has purchased a fleet of electric vehicles. These cars will be shared by the village's residents and staff in an effort to reduce traffic congestion in the town and to ensure no emissions are released into the atmosphere. It's part of a philosophy of the village to become more energy efficient and conservation aware and to enable our residents to reduce their cost of living by car sharing, using our car sharing service. Most of our people tend to drive short distances, doctors, supermarkets, local stores. Maybe the odd trip to Whangarei, we think that will be its prime use and that will reduce congestion on the Kirikiri Road. One question residents have is, how easy is it to drive an electric car? They're not a complicated vehicle at all. They're just different. They make an ordinary car seem very unrefined. There's no engine noise and, and all you get is the tyre noise. I think it's smooth. That's the advantage. It's so quiet and it, everything works beautifully. All electric, that's the way of the future. It's growing. Part of the reason we got the funding is part of growing the electric vehicle network within New Zealand. And um, in terms of maintenance costs, running costs, obviously these are a no-brainer. A lot of our residents, they don't, they're on fixed income now. And they can reduce their costs from um, insurance and maintenance by just using one of these when it suits them. I think the village is to be congratulated for, for taking a step like this. Um, it's got to be the way of the future particularly as we're always told New Zealand's got renewable energy. What is the process for booking the vehicles? Easy, it's not um, computerised or online like other car sharing services. It's a call reception or drop into reception and put your name down and book it. And how quickly will the idea gain traction? Oh, I think it'll be slow to take off. It's quite a change of concept, but there's no rush. So I'd say we'll start looking at a group of 20, called a group of 20, which would, I'm sure, as people appreciate what this benefits this offers, they'll start to use them a lot more.